Welcome to Football Adanya. This time, we give you our top 10 Eredivisie to Premier League transfers. Get it back up! Get it back up! Get busy! Yeah! 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 There is he! Yeah! Yeah! That is Glasser! Go! 11 of the 16 most expensive transfers out of the Eredivisie have been to English clubs. So our list includes some top names. But to be included, the player must have signed directly from a Dutch club and gone on to have a huge impact in the English top flight. So, sorry Nigel and sorry Toby. <coughs> Number 10, Wilfred Boney. Considering the relatively huge names in this list, Bonny seems like an odd choice here. However, the man nicknamed Daddy Cool by the Test supporters set himself in Swansea City folklore for becoming their top goal scorer in the Premier League history in his 18 months in Wales. 35 goals in 70 appearances was followed by a £28 million move to Manchester City in 2015. A tidy profit of £16 million. Tidy. Of course, the former Eredivisie Golden Boot winner went on to flop with both Manchester City and Stoke. Nine. In at nine, Jan Vertonghen. One of three former Ajax teammates currently at Tottenham Hotspur, Vertonghen is beginning his sixth campaign with Spurs. The big centre-back still shows his skill set that made him popular with Ajax, winning him two Eredivisie titles and a Dutch Cup. Nowadays, the Belgian is part of a formidable spine at Spurs. <coughs> Our number eight is Christian Eriksen. Tottenham's attention reverted back to Ajax in 2013 for the skillful Dane. Eriksen was notorious for his goal-scoring threat from midfield and his clever vision, for which Spurs paid only £11 million, a steal in today's market. In his four years so far in London, Eriksen has amassed 179 appearances and 42 goals. The free-kick specialist also added 15 assists in Tottenham's second-place Premier League finish last season. It's seven. In at seven, Arjen Robben. Robin is one of the best players around in the right wing position, but isn't so high in our list since his superiority developed with Bayern Munich. PSV bought Robin from fellow Eredivisie side Groningen, and he went on to form a partnership with Matthias Kesman, nicknamed Batman and Robin. The Dutchman only adjusted to being an inverted winger after leaving Chelsea for Real Madrid, following two Premier League titles, two League Cups, and an FA Cup. Six. Six, Dirk Kout. Kout began his career with Utrecht, but thanks to 66 goals in 184 matches, grabbed the attention of finals in 2003, where the prolific Dutchman netted another 71 in 101 games. Originally, Liverpool thought they had bought a new out-and-out -out striker, but soon found Kout to be adept in a number of positions. His hard-working nature, knack of scoring in big games and passion for the club's cause ensured Kout rated amongst some of the Liverpool greats during his six years in England. Five. Number 5. Mark Overmars One of the older names in this list, a nimble and skillful Overmars, arrived at Arsenal in the late 90s, following 36 goals in over 100 games for Ajax. Overmars featured both in Ajax's incredible Champions League winning side in 1995 and Arsenal's Invincibles in 2003 and netted 25 times in a century of appearances for the Gunners. A move to Barcelona was next for the 86 cap Dutch international to round off a fine career. Four. In at four, Jarp Stam. At the time, Stam was the most expensive defender in history following his move to Alex Ferguson's United. The centre-back went on to spend three seasons in Manchester where he won three Premier League titles, an FA Cup and the Champions League. Stan was arguably one of the best defenders to have graced the game, but only spent three years in England before moving to Italy and retiring with Ajax. Three. Our number three is Robin Van Persie. Arsenal probably didn't realise at the time the sheer impact Van Persie would have at the club. 132 goals in 277 games was however overshadowed by countless injuries, which left fans with a feeling of what could have been. For example, in Van Persie's final season at Arsenal, he netted 30 times in only 38 games. The striker moved on to Manchester United in 2012 for a fiendly 10 times what Arsenal originally paid. Now that's a deal. Two. Two, Luis Suarez. By 2011, 
the Eredivisie began to earn a reputation for producing hit or miss strikers. So when Liverpool dished out 23 million for Suarez, it still seemed a gamble for a man who scored 111 goals in 159 games for Ajax. If it wasn't for his greedy nature, the Uruguay may have topped this list. Thanks to his incredible record, 82 goals in 133 matches for Liverpool. The striker formed a famous trio with Raheem Sterling and Daniel Sturridge, which nearly won the Premier League. Of course, Suarez now plays for Barcelona, scoring for fun in La Liga and the Champions League. One. And finally, our number one is Ruud van Nistelrooy. Having averaged nearly a goal per game with PSV, Manchester United were forced to wait a whole year for Van Nistelrooy due to a season ending injury, which led to a failed medical in the summer of 2000. He was worth a wait though. Between 2001 and 2006, a record of 150 goals in 219 matches speaks for itself. Ruud was one of United's true greats from a star studded Sir Alex Ferguson era, netting many crucial goals in the Champions League and winning the 2003 Premier League with the golden boot to boot. If you'll pardon the pardon. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Or were we completely wrong? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoy our content, make sure to subscribe now for much more. Great. To football, Rania, now.